Hey what's going on guys, Fuad here and welcome back to another video. Some of you had a question about how you can differentiate between a narcissistic caring man and a healthy caring man. And this question came after we spoke about the player. We spoke about his nature, his tactics, how he uses you, how he tests you. And I kind of comprehend how difficult it might be to differentiate between the bad one and the good one. Because we spoke about how this player is quite smart at pretending to have all what a real man has. So this is just a follow up video because I felt that in the previous video we didn't speak in more details about the exceptions to the rules. We didn't speak about also external factors that you might see in a man and think that he's a player and he might not be a player. So if this is what you came for, grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and let's dive into it. Right, so I don't want to state the obvious, which is if you want a real man and if you want to avoid players, you'll have to take things slowly. You'll have maybe also to marry the man before sleeping with him. Because this, these things you, are you already know. Especially if you watch some, some of my videos, you already know my views on that. But I can tell you, if he is X, it means he is Y. That wouldn't make sense. Because there are always exceptions to the rule. I see some prominent names in the relationship space and they will tell you, yeah, if he's this, do that, if he's that, do that. It won't work because every individual is different. Every individual is unique. There are some rules that won't be breakable and there are some rules that will have exceptions. And so with these people, they would link you from a piece of content to another and it goes in an unending circle. The obvious things are you hold yourself to higher standards, you establish emotional intimacy before having physical one, you dress and you look like a woman who is respectful. And whatever the definition of modesty is in your country, dress modestly. You can't play the game partially. You can't expect to go to the sea without getting wet. I don't see any other bulletproof system that will protect you from being played by a man. In the dating game, you will not be able to completely avoid encountering a player. It's just bound to happen. Sure, you will encounter a good man, but you will also undoubtedly come across a man who will want you just for sex. The reasons I speak about the signs of a player is just to tell you what is going on in the sexual marketplace that you are in. And when I speak about the signs that you can detect on a player, there will be always exceptions to these rules. For instance, we said that a player might alternate between showing interest and pulling back. And this might also be seen on a serious man. A man might, might pull back just because you disrespected him and he's teaching you a lesson. And it might be due to an external factor. He has some life issues. His barber messed up with his hair and he's waiting for it to grow up. There could be a lot of reasons. So you can use a combination of many sides to say, yeah, this man is a, a player and this man isn't. But you need to have this in mind that there are always exceptions to these rules. Don't be paranoid. I don't want any of my content to make you paranoid and, and fear men. Not everyone is out there to mess with you. But you have the power and the control of how you present yourself to the world that will tell men if you are a good target for them or not. They would tell the player if it's worth playing with you or not. So this is in terms of the exceptions. There will be always exceptions to the rules. Have this in mind. If he withdraw from you once you tell him that you have, you have some reservations about sleeping with him too fast, then this is an obvious sign that he's a player because he wanted you just for sex and once you told him that you don't want to have sex that fast with him then he started to show you attitudes it's obvious that this man is a player and you need to use your intuition and your instinct what do you feel about the man this is extremely important and the only thing you have control of because we said you cannot protect yourself completely from being played by a man is yourself you are the shop front but you show the people you can't control you can attract the people by the way you present yourself the way you dress, the way you talk, the places you go to. You can't be surprised to meet a player if you're going only to nightclubs. This is just the reality. And these things you have the total control over. You have total control of how you look. You have total control on where you meet these men. And you have total control of what you allow these men to do with you. These are some of the things that you can control. Other things you cannot control. And if you are in the dating game, you will undoubtedly come across one player, at least one player in your life. 